Hello everyone, this is Sensuous One, and today I just want to try out the napkin technique on two different um, surfaces to see how well it works. So this is going to be an experimental video. My first time doing this here is today with you all. So I have my um, trusty iron. It's a little beat up, but it works. <laughs> um, and then I have this as sort of like a configuration box. Um, but it's wood, so I want to see if it'll adhere to it. So I'm going to do it on the back side. Um, I got this from a thrift store. I only paid like 80 cents for it. So if I mess it up, I don't mind. So on here I have some of the, um, as you can see here, the plastic wrap. Smooth that out. Okay, and then I'm going to use this snap in here, and I've already pulled the back side, um, the back layer off of it. And I had gotten this from um, Poet Spice in a package I received from her. So, move that down. Gonna rub out some of the wrinkles because it was folded. And I'm going to put my paper on top. I think I'm going to, um, see, yeah, it's big enough. I'm going to put maybe three pieces. Well, I might only need two. Let's see. Um, just make sure all the sides are going to be covered with the paper. Yeah, two pieces is good enough. So I have my iron on high setting with no water. And I'm going to um, iron this for about three minutes applying heat all over it and then um, I'll come back and we'll see what happens okay so we have been ironing for a little over probably a little over three minutes um, what I basically did was I held the iron in each spot for about um, 10 seconds Instead of, you know, just keep going over, like, running it over it like you're ironing. Because I found that when I did that last time, there were some spots that didn't adhere good. So to make sure that the heat was even, ugh, evenly distributed, I just held it um, in each spot. So now I was just touching it up. And dun dun dun. We'll see what happens. So I moved my iron out the way. Before I knock something over. And we're going to take off this paper. Um, what should I need? I can heat that food up in the pot. Yeah, go ahead. So it looks like it's stuck. It's not coming up on the edges. Oh, I'm, not, I'm out of frame. Okay, so it's sticking. So I think you see now is just the extra paper and the um, plastic that's left. So let me find a pair of scissors that are sharp enough. And I think I'm going to turn it. I don't know if I'm going to cut it. Okay. I'm going to hold it up here. I think you guys can see that. Let me move you up just a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. And don't mind my messy craft room in the background. <laughs> Alright, so I'm probably not going to get all this in frame, but I'll pretty much show you. Um, let me get a better angle. I'm not used to this stuff. <laughs> this camera angling. Okay. So I can move you without knocking you down. And I'm going to fix the camera and fix the board. Okay, so here's our board. And I'm going to cut this away. I'm just going to cut it right close, as close as I can. You know, cutting the scissors is kind of awkward. So as close as I can to the, um, I'll try to make this quick and 
painless. All right, so I just showed you how I cut the top piece. Let me just cut the rest because it's going to be an awkward position because this thing is kind of big. So let me cut the rest and I'll be right back. Okay, so I cut the two um, longest ends because those were the most awkward. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this other short end. And like I said, the way this is positioned, it seems like you're not going to get a really close cut on it. But I just grabbed a piece of sandpaper that I have. Um over here in my room. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that. So you see there's some frayed pieces that the scissor can't really get. So let's try this um, standing block. Um, I think one side's like medium and one side, so I think both sides are this is medium. So this is what it looks like. And like I said, it did adhere. So, let's see. Where's the edge? That was really bad. Okay. Like this edge right here. How it looks like it's all frayed. I'm going to um, use some sandpaper. I think I'm going to go in a downward motion against the edge. Let me put it down for some leverage. Okay, so we're going to go down. Yeah works. So if I'm going down right along the edge. As you can see, it's taken it right off to the very edge. Okay, so as I was saying before my phone cut off on me, um, I'm taking this um, sandpaper <laughs> and going down against the edge. You can see. I hope you can see. Remember, I showed you how it was frayed looking, and now it's like smooth to the edge. It's got to dust off a little shavings, but it adhered and it looks really neat. So, like the rest of these edges, I'll go over that with sandpaper. I'm off camera. All that you see here is the loose stuff that once I sand it down. It'll be completely smooth to the edge, like this surface here. So now we're going to try this on some chipboard. And how awesome would that be with making mini albums? You won't have to cut your papers and adhere them and all that. You can adhere the napkin directly to it and already have your paper, your pages for your mini albums covered. Like the little um, chipboard mini album. Okay, so on to the second technique. We're going to use, well, I'm going to use, <laughs> um, from this one here. This one comes with two. A big one and a little one. So we're going to try the technique, the napkin technique with the smaller one, which is here. And um, I'm just going to take out one to try it on. Okay, that's one piece. And we're going to use this little fun napkin. I got this from Walmart for 75 cents. And it's been sitting, um, so I didn't know what I was going to do with it yet. So, I'm thinking it would be cute as a mini album cover. Oh, and it's adorable. They have little individual ones. And then they have the, the whole one. Okay, so I'm going to um, prep this and get it ready. The same technique I showed you. I'm going to cut this piece out, pull off the back layer, put it down with plastic, the napkin, and iron it, and then I will be back. Okay, and this is what it looks like after it has been adhered to the chipboard. And it did work well. So I'm thinking... This will make a really pretty album cover. So you see that there's the edges again that um, the plastic tends to stick out. So I'm just going to take my little sandpaper and go down against, like down into the side against the edge of it.
and that really cleans up all those little frayed pieces. If you can see, you can see that. It's about as clean as it's going to get. So, put those little pieces like, can't see it's too close, <laughs> like right there. I'm just going to take. sandpaper and clean it right up so you just do that <clears throat> excuse me on all your edges there's some more right here that overhang same technique I just rub it across the bottom to get the pieces that are falling and voila you have your album cover and then you know you can add your embellishments which will cover the the edge of where the napkin stopped at and then you know on the back side here you have your holes and you just take your hole punch and you line up where the holes are I don't think I should do it the other way Cause see it snagged a little. I could just take a um, not really snag, but that's how the paper looks on the whole. Just take something in there, smooth it out. But I'm thinking if I punch it the other way, I just didn't want to miss the, miss where the hole was. So I'll do it this way. I can't do it through the camera. <laughs> I think that's what my problem is. Okay, so I'll line it up that way. This chipboard is sturdy. Okay, so there you have it. Your album cover with the cute little owls. Thank you. Okay, um, I think I'm done experimenting for right now. <laughs> Have some swaps to work on, but um, so we would we've gone over the wood technique, which is here, the um tile, and this one. Yeah, we're gonna do the tile next. I, ha I have that one coming up next. Um, but I think this came out really cute. So the possibilities with your napkins are endless. You can even um, transfer your napkins to a paper and paper piece on like stamped images that's an idea so that's all for today um for the chipboard album i'll go over the tiles and then we're gonna call it a day on the on the um what's what i'm looking for oh the experiments yeah okay guys i'll be back Okay, so this one is um, a ceramic tile that we're trying with the napkin technique to see just out of curiosity. Something fell. Um, if it'll work. So I've been doing this for about three minutes. I'm thinking it should be ready. And I might need my blade because I'm using small tiles they look like this they're like little individual tiles that were they came on a sheet but I separated them for a previous um, project I just got a bucket of them just sitting so let's see this corner dang stick Ow. That was hot. <laughs> My boys are here laughing at me. Um, so I think I probably should have waited until it cooled off, but I was too anxious. Yeah, because it's hot. So I'm gonna take my blade and just loosen the um, 
plastic right by the edge. And this is just a, um, a craft rag that I have it sitting on so the tiles wouldn't shift. And it looks like it all didn't stick good, so I'm going to do it again. And I'll be right back. Okay, so this piece has completely cooled down. Um, it's the one that I did on the tiles. And I, I cut this one earlier before I figured out it was too hot. <laughs> so I had to leave it alone for a little bit. Um, but I want to take that off anyway because the edge of the paper stops halfway. I could probably still use it and use some embellishments on the blank side. So I'll probably still keep it. But just basically showing you what I did. <clears throat> just took my um, X-Acto knife and just try to come follow the um, follow the cuts where the tiles end. And I think I got some of them moved around a bit. So it's going to be a little crooked. Yes, this is my first one. So... I'm thinking the next time I do it, um, I don't know, I gotta think of a better way to keep the tiles from shifting when I'm ironing. I guess I'm gonna have to just um, place it and move it versus, you know, moving the iron back and forth as if you were ironing. So, I'm gonna keep on cutting these, just trying to follow where the tile is, the space between each tile. And don't mind my little craft rag behind here. It's got some stains from my paint and stuff. Alright. So I got that direction done. Now I don't know how well this is going to work, but we're going to try it anyway, just to see. Just to Embrace my curiosity. Alright, I'll do one more row just to show you. And then what I have in mind is going over the top of each one of these with some either the glossy accents or the dimensional magic. <coughs> Haven't decided. So as you can see, this is the way it looks, and that one's coming apart. I wonder if I take, you know, let's see. I'm trying to see where I put that um sandpaper I had the other. Right, hold on. To get another one, and then as you can see on here, there's some little frayed pieces. So if I just touch it like that, see, I don't know if you can see that. Not focusing, but. I get my other my other camera is dead, so I'm using my son's phone right now. And I don't know how to make his focus, but I guess you can see that. So I pretty much clean the edges up. You see the frayed edges right here. Just take the So I pretty much just clean all the pieces up, and then what I what I had in mind is like doing some kind of I don't know canvas or something where you lay the pieces. They'll be together, but not together. If you know what I mean, like they'll have a space in between them, so it'll be like a picture, a complete picture, but they're in pieces. So that's what I had in mind. So I'll keep working on this. And like I said, I'm going to use either Dimensional Magic or Glossy Accents to cover the tops of them. And then I'll show you in another video um, what I come up with as far as creating something with these. Because I hate for this to go to waste. 
but um, it's looking really pretty so far. So that's it for that one, and I think that was all. I already showed you the chipboard, and I already showed you the wood. So I'll show you the finished product with these tiles in another video. Until then, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.